Oh, I need. I know. I need to look at cards. For cards. <laughs> yeah, for cards. Okay. All right. We're back. All right, Kevin. So I'll I will be mainly taking a backseat. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Okay. Because you we're talking Mason's. Master. We're talking Masons. I love Masons. They're my first love. First team I started with. Painted them all out. Corbelli was not out yet. Nope. And I just played Hammer. I love Hammer. And I loved Hammer in season three, even when he was only three five influence and he had to pull influence from other people. I thought it was a really cool mechanic. I was kind of sad um, that season four changed it. Um, but yeah, so let's dive right into it. I'm gonna talk Honor. Even though I don't have as much experience playing Honor, I think she's a great beginning captain. Oh. Uh, I think it's fantastic that she's in the kickoff because she's like the quintessential, <laughs> like flex captain can do whatever, um, balls can, can scrum, can fight, you know? And uh, yeah, I think people are really, I think she's easy to use oh yeah like, and so i think we talked about this too the other day where it's like honor is one of the best captains because she teaches you why your mistakes are bad yes right <laughs> and like and she teaches you kind of in reverse mm -hmm. because she alleviates those issues so like superior strategy target friendly model gains an additional activation mm -hmm. so that shows you like oh shit like i i put this guy out too far it's a great right. activation well, I can use superior strategy and I can jog them back. Right. Right? So, like, <laughs> it showed you why dead activations are, like, really bad. Yeah. Like, don't... Especially do when you're new and, like, yeah. you get that one counterattack that pushes you out and yeah. you're, like, you have a model on three influence and you're, like, this feels like crap. And, like, exactly. I hate this. And that model just comes out and, like, oh, activate again, you know? Yeah. You so still have a chance to use that three influence, so... She helps you kind of figure out what you did wrong mm -hmm. or what the enemy has to counter you mm -hmm. and then allows you to sort of alleviate those, like, pain yeah. points. Uh, of course, like, quick time. If someone mm -hmm. gets in a scrum that they don't want to be in, they can just dodge out. Yep. Uh, also, like, if your influence allocation is poor, you can just use your legendary play and allocate an extra influence to Definitely. everyone within six inches. <laughs> so it's literally, like... Yeah gives you so many options and like not just her but the fact that so much synergy comes yeah. in the kickoff box like you got brit who's giving yep. honor to oh harmony and oh harmony who's linking from honor and yep. you have marbles who gives assists to honor it's like it's just a really cool box to learn the game from yeah and like if you guys are interested in learning the game download those files print them out man it's free <laughs> i actually think the masons are a better starting faction than brewers i think so too especially i think they're the starting box. box they're yeah. just like they're middle of the road they want two takeouts two goals one one goal four takeouts maybe um and they flex really easily mm -hmm. you can like have that game plan going in where i can do either you know whatever offers opportunity presents itself um and no matter what <coughs> comp you go whether mm -hmm. it's whatever captain you choose whatever uh squaddies and whatever mascot you choose you will always have 13 in deaths true so you know what you're working with yeah. every single time <laughs> i think for newer players that's probably i think masons are 100 percent the True. new player friendly faction yeah. i will say like i think it's season three honor i don't think she had very much game i think the reason why she has game now and we want to talk about captains before we yes. get into squaddies yeah. but like oh chisel is the way that, that honor turns on it's like the only oh. way like she just you know heroic tooled up she's like <laughs> four damage two like six tack and on two results she's getting four damage yeah. momentously it's just crazy the fact that you can play around you know losing a dead activation with her you have honor to kind of enable her to uh do whatever you need to to get those takeouts so if you need those two takeouts like mm -hmm. chisel can get both of those for you so i really like chisel but let's let's move on if, if, we're, if we're good with with honor Oh yeah, yeah, I think Otter, like, we pretty much said our piece. Like, yeah. there's not much more besides the fact that she's just really good on the stats. Yeah, and I guess we can say that the the characteristic for Masons is their momentous are actually on the first part of their yep. playbook, mm -hmm. and then on the last part of their playbook is all non momentous. Non -momentous. So, uh, <laughs> Honor kind of does a little of everything. Yeah, as far as like, she has a push dodge, she's mm -hmm. got a double dodge. Yeah, and she's got damage. She's even got, she's got a knockdown in there too, right? Just in Katie's case, just in case you need it, you know? Right, so she literally does everything. Yeah. And she's like 17 HP for some reason. <laughs> she's got the two armor, she's 3-2. Like, she's just like a very, very Mason captain. Like, yeah. Uh, which one, do you want to go Hammer next? Yeah, let's go Hammer next. Hammer's out. So right. Hammer, like, and I will say, I, I've kind of been looking at the, the new Discord mm -hmm. for Community Project. I know they just introduced, like, all of the breakdowns for the teams and you can like discuss the teams on there and i've been kind of lurking 
on the Mason stuff, and, and it seems like people seem to like Honor a lot. Yeah. I think Hammer and Corbelli like complement each other really well, mm -hmm. and that's why I like playing them. I think Honor does what Corbelli does, but still can flex a yeah. little bit more than Corbelli can, at least the way that I play Corbelli. I pretty much play Corbelli just 3-0. Yeah. <laughs> I think Hammer, like, I think he just goes 1-4-2-2. Mm -hmm. um and he just needs the team around him right he just needs yep. the v chisel to take the knockdown he needs the extra 12 boxes from free harmony free yep. harmony he needs the tooled up he needs flint who can score a goal yep. while he's taking you know all everything the heat. yeah and like that's your team and then you you got wrecker i like wrecker he extends threat ranges he breaks up scrums yep. i think marbles just lets me down so often and like let the go the, the go is good, the counter charge is good. I feel like it's so easy to play around counter charge when, when people are actually know what they're doing. Like it's it's a very bad experience for new players and it doesn't work against better players. And so I don't like really using marbles at all. I feel you, yeah. Um, and, and Goat is good, but it's like those one cost character plays like are never gonna go off when you need them to. That's and uh, <laughs> Yeah. I think it just kind of depends on. I do agree. I think Wrecker for the value. Yeah. He just does what you want to do for free. Like he's what he's for like free. Eight, he's eight, eight, eight jog. Eight, yeah, eight yeah. jog. And he's got no character plays. You're never gonna want to. Yeah. And he's got better hand. And, and follow up. And he's got three armor. Like if you, for whatever reason, say you're playing Corbelli and you're taking Champ, you can put close control on him with three mm -hmm. armor. Like true, true, true. even though he's defense too. Like some of those strikers who are like four tack might not get through. Might not get through twice at least. Well, you're right. Uh, like if you need to kill, I don't know why you're ever killing a ball on Corbelli's team, but but most strikers only would be given three influence. Right. They wouldn't be given. Well, like, and if you got close control. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 options, right? It's options and it's options. Options that I feel like Marbles just doesn't give you. I like he yeah. just he's a counter charge threat, and like you can kind of control the board with counter charge. But like even if the counter charge goes off, like what are you gonna get a push? Like. Yeah. If you've got no knockdown, like if you had a knockdown, like that would be pretty sick. I think it's you bait the love creature, <laughs> right? You kind of yeah. bait the, ah, like this, like, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I think Marvels has a place, mm -hmm. but it, you you almost always want to give him one. Yeah. Which can take away from the rest of your squad. Yeah. So it's basically, do you want free stuff or gambling? Yeah. And anyway, like Hammer's the super solo captain. He wants oh. all the influence. You got to, you got to stack it up. Every single time, I see countless battle reports where <laughs> Hammer's two getting like hammer. two influence, and it's like this <laughs> meme that we use. We're like, oh, I'll just put two on Hammer. Two I'm on like, no, hammer. you need to load this dude up every single time. Oh, yeah. And like, I think you have to load him up every single time. And I think V Chisel like turns him on so much. Yeah. I think people do not use adaptive strategy as well as they could. I think they use it as like a safety net. Like, oh, what if I mess up? That's so like, it's so good adaptive strategy. And like. That way, like, if, if uh, you put, like, f six on Hammer, and then, like, if he doesn't need to do something, if Flint needs to do something instead, you can just, like, flip it over to him. Or yeah. if, say, like, you didn't, you put four on Flint, but he's gonna die if their first activation, yeah. you just wait. They're like, oh, Flint's not a threat. He doesn't have influence on him. And then later in the turn, you just throw it over there once yeah. all their big models have activated and he's not in danger anymore. And then you have a goal. Like, the, 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 the amount of options that Adaptive Strategy gives you is so so incredibly good that i don't think we've reached our full potential on yeah. what we can do with it i've caught up so many people just by saying like oh i'm gonna move like four from here to here or just load up chisel like just load up chisel don't put any on hammer or flint and just or hammer or corbelli or flint and see you know where your opponent reacts to and then you just walk chisel over and you just give them your influence yeah. like it's so sick it's so much fun um i'm sad that i can't take o chisel and v chisel at the same time I think people really understate how important that community event was when we got yeah. the Union and Chain stuff. Because imagine if we had Decimate, like V-Decimate, instead of V-Chisel, but had the same oh. rules. Then I can use Chisel and Decimate That'd in the same sense. list. And so, like, that was so important that people don't really yeah. think about, that you can't use both veteran versions. Yeah. Like, for the teams that lost that community event. So now I can't use, like, O-Chisel and V-Chisel, but yeah. you can use V-Decimate and say, oh stoker like whoever was gonna oh, you know be the the veteran captain you know or the veteran yeah. the squad beach is so good and, and yeah. i think it's like the crazy thing about adaptive strategy is it's literally like the ultimate shell game yeah where it's like you just faking out your opponent exactly you, it's mind games right it's so mind much fun games until she activates mm -hmm. and it's like it's not only that it's you can react you mm -hmm. can fix your mistakes yeah or you can play a trap 
Yeah. So it's like it's so deep, and then take one for the. <laughs> It's so good. Yeah. Be like, I don't want to get knocked. Uh, I mean, yeah, Hammer like, is immune to one inch models when you're within six uh, inches of each of them. He yeah. ignores pushes and where he know, ignores the first push because he's mm-hmm. stoic. Sturdy uh, with the word stoic. stoic I think. Can't yeah, push, he's stoic. Yeah. So he ignores that first push mm-hmm. and then he takes a knockdown and then he's got a he has knockback. Yeah. Yeah. So just, <coughs> after making a successful attack, after resolving playbook results, the target any model suffers a one push directly. Yeah. This model may then make a one-inch dodge. Like, if you think about it, yeah. like, if you look at Hammer's playbook, he's got seven tack, six results, so he's yeah. got a brewer book. Yeah. And, you know, if he's tooled up, if he's using his iron fist, yeah. and, like, he's, he's, four on he's three. beating people up. He's got yeah. a tackle knockdown, which I love that result. It's so much it's fun. So and uh, you're just racking up momentum. Well, it's a you're tackle knockdown push. Tons of damage. It's a tackle knockdown push dodge. Yeah. Like, add push dodge to every single one of these yeah. results. And that's an insane playbook. He's got 8 kick. He's a 3 8 kick now. Which makes no sense. He used to be 2 8. <laughs> yeah. Now he's 3 8. He's like fast when you give him quick or uh, impetuous. Impetuous. Like he, he's, he can strike. He's like the thresher. Like, yeah. He was the one inch thresher. Yeah. One inch OG thresher, I think. <coughs> I mean, like his legendary play. Hammer yeah, time. Exactly. I I think he's got the most scorner just like for all of you. Uh, oh, more more machine. Like so much energy, energy there oh. because like it's so hard to activate him. Use your legendary and then still end up being in a position where models are going to start advances within mm-hmm. six inches of him. It like never really works. Sometimes you can use it just like first turn. If you're using O Chisel, like you could just first turn like have her kick. You okay. could just use your legendary and then tool her up and then she, she's gonna kill. Some- like she's gonna be plus three damage. Like yeah. when she's activating, she's gonna kill whatever she looks at. Um, it's just it's it's really fun. I really like Hammer. I think. He's capable of getting one to four takeouts all by himself. Yes. Just by himself. And so, like, that just opens up all of your avenues where Flint's just going to go kick a goal, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Hopefully end the game, like, that one four, finish the game with the goal. Or if Hammer has the opportunity to get, you know, a six VP, you know, activation, he's more than capable of doing it. He's also um, a snapshot threat. He's a snapshot threat. That's crazy. He wants to kick off. Corbelli wants to receive. It's like everything just kind of works. And I, I just... I've had really good success with with Hammer. I think I've gone on like 18 win streaks in tournaments with Hammer. Yeah. Um, and so like I finally retired him and I went on to play a different team. But I think that like Hammer is super good. Oh yeah, and it's crazy because it's like it, with the knockback, you literally can charge someone, mm-hmm. like do a tackle knockdown, keep pushing them until you're within goal threat. Exactly. Kill the thing. Every single thing is a dodge. Yeah. Like he he's going far. Yeah. Yeah. You kill the thing, make mm. a goal. Yeah. Then they kick the ball back, <laughs> come in with like flint, mm-hmm. tackles, snapshot. Yeah. You just got like 10 VP. Yeah. Kill two goals. Yeah. Hello? Like, he, he's, he's really, really strong. Yeah, so, like, so if good. you're playing against like a super threatening team, he was playing your bubble of V Harmony and O Chisel or V Chisel. He's got 30 boxes of tough hide. You know, he's 3 1. He's kind yeah. of a victim, but. You know, he's got a lot of boxes well, you can play with. Yeah, we can It really makes the difference. Mm-hmm. And tough hide. Yeah, tough hide, yeah. He's like, <laughs> just a brewer in, like, blue clothes. Yeah. <laughs> and so he's fast. And he's fast. Yeah, and he kicks. He's just, and he, he's just he's better. Yeah, he's just, he's, he's just better. Yeah, that's true. He's a sober brewer. I think Corbelli really shook up the community when he oh, dropped. Dude, he was so busted when he had his two-on-two results and he had his legendary play, which was just, like... F you, I get the ball wherever it is. And I, I think he still has a free, he has, it's a free ball now. It's not, it's not, he just, <laughs> wherever well, it's at. yeah, it's much more niche for sure. Um, I think Corbelli, I think he might be the weaker captain between all three, but it's hard to say because I feel like Hammer Honor kind of fulfill the same role and Corbelli, yeah. like, he's just answers ball. other things that they don't, in my opinion. He balls really well. There's close control. He can have, like, Flint on his team. He can yeah. be, like, you can have multiple models with close control. Mm-hmm. You have Champ. My favorite, like, my favorite Corbelli list, like, like team, is when I run Corbelli and Wrecker, I'll play Flint, I'll play Champ, I'll mm-hmm. play V Chisel, because mm-hmm. you have so uh, much close yeah. control yeah. that you're just, you want to protect yourself from those knockdowns. And I'll play, like, a flex. Maybe, like, uh... Yeah. You can do Lucky. Who's, uh... I mean, you granite. Granite is, is typically oh, who I would use. Granite, she just yeah. doesn't need a lot of influence. She 
Jazz has a lot of like crowd outs that are super helpful because you don't rough want ground. to. Yeah, the rough ground. I typically don't really put any influence on her except for to sprint her first turn. She's got a three kick, which is super important in Corbe Corbelli team. Corbelli with his dodges, like do some insane stupid stuff. Like it's so much fun. Um, it's so much skill expression just by like, like you can get someone, you can get the ball to someone when they're 12 inches away because you yeah. declare the pass. They move four inches, you pass it to them. Yeah. Then they can, you know, momentously move, give and go. Then they can dummy pass them. And like, it, it's it's so much fun what you can do with Corbelli and his dodges. I think now, because I haven't played him since his nerf, and I, I only played him a few times because I thought he was ridiculously oppressive. Um, but now you might need that O-Chisel in his team. You might need that opportunity to take some takeouts. To play like all three O Mason and just like give your opponent your whole strategy play luck and just say, hey, I'm going for three goals. Like it might be in a position where they kill the ball somewhere that's yeah. super hard to get to. You have a lot of movement, a lot of dodges. You got Flint Corbelli, you got W Pass, where'd they go? And you have the You got champ, you got champ, yeah. you can you can, you know, double move and sprint. I think you have movement to get there, but it's like it's really risky. I think it's I don't know. I have. I need to. I need to practice some more with Core Valley to see how I want to do it. I really like B Chisel. I think like having you know Flint, Core Valley, and Champ as possible influence people to give to with adaptive strategy, especially when you don't have initiative. You could just see how your opponent reacts to that, and then give influence or see whether your opponent kills the ball. Give influence to the person that needs to go and get it. I think adaptive strategy is really important, but I also think the killing power of Ocha is a little super important. So yeah. that's where I like it really. It's a hard choice. It kind of depends on which team you're playing, I guess. I see what you mean where it's like an all ball team mm -hmm. when it doesn't work. Yeah. It's really bad. Yeah. I mean, right. even even Order now has Fang too. Like, yeah. they well, can still get takeouts. Yeah. And yeah. It's like it, it, you kind of want the <laughs> Yeah. Or at least the ability to like kind of push people, mm -hmm. I guess you could say. Yeah. Where, I mean, like, the fact that Corbelli doesn't have a one before his two on three, like, oh, true. like he's five tack and he has to get three results to get two. Like he's not doing any reliable no. damage. It's not happening. If someone has armor, that's yeah, like yeah, three yeah. one. You're not getting reliably three results. True. Oh yeah, I think the Oach is is pretty smart. Oh, I, mm -hmm. I think Lucky does. He has that momentous too. One too. Mm -hmm. So I, I really think Lucky is kind of a nice flex because he he also has the dodges and like. He does. He can. He can kind of ball like. Slap I haven't beat. really looked at what the community changed on him. So the community made him better. Oh, yeah, like I he's know. more. He's buff. Like his his his. Did his playbook like, change? I don't think so. I think it's just that. Okay. Well, actually, it might have changed to be. <laughs> this. I mean, basically, I think you're right. Either run Oches, Lucky, or Mallet. Yeah. Just to kind of give you that like, some damage. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, so we went through all the, we basically went through mascots. Too. We went through mascots, we yeah, through we happens. did. We kind of, so, I think if you play Honor, I think Marbles is still a good choice. I think. Because of six. Yeah. Yeah. And and if I'm playing Hammer and and uh, Corvelli, I, I drop Marbles from Correct. my 12. I, yeah. Like, he's not even in my 12. Oh, I, I don't even play him. I think there's so many good squaddies and Masons that <laughs> you can, like, niche play whatever yeah. you want. You know, I'm typically dropping, I guess, like, Oh Harmony, Honor, Marbles, and one more. Um, I used to be lucky. I don't know what it is now anymore. But there's there's a lot of good. Yeah, games. there's a lot of good, a lot of good squatties. Yeah. So what would you say? Should we just go to <laughs> squatties like real quick? Yeah, let's do it. Like, so we'll, we we kind of already touched on the chisels. Uh huh. Uh, let's go, Brick. Where do you think he belongs? He's really good. I just don't see him belonging anywhere. That's what I was thinking. You know what I mean? Like his, I was thinking that too. He used to be two inch reach, right? When he had counter charge. Yes. And now he doesn't. And like I think that really hampers him. Like Gravity Well is super good. It's nice that, you know, no two inch models can engage him without him responding. Yep. But the fact that he's so slow and like it's hard to just walk up and punch things because he's yep. a one inch. Like if he had like more like sturdy like like Granite does, like who's resisting knockdown, if he had like Poise, like or not poised if he had stoic something that helps him mitigate some of the troublesome counter attacks yeah maybe he'll be useful uh, as as it is maybe he gives he gives fulcrum like if you yeah. want to but again he's one inch but... he's got gravity well so he's gonna suck people back yeah. into him it's, i don't know it's weird because it doesn't feel like <coughs> he does like there's someone who does what he does but better right right and i think the only thing you take him for is to just be like a meat 
Yeah, I mean, if you need a meat shield, I'm usually taking granite. If I need damage, I'm usually taking oak chisel or mallet or like mallet could stop balls like with smash shins. And, and he's only got he's got the reach. He's only got a two six kick, so he doesn't really work well with Corbelli. I like having three kick on things. And he, it, got, he did he got done dirty. <laughs> I mean, he's got a good play, a really good playbook, and he's got. If his concussion was a momentous, I'd be like, okay. Then he wouldn't be amazing. You yeah, know, but, but all the good results are are. I don't no. know why he's got a tackle on three. That's just a That's weird spot, too. Well, well, I don't the knockdown on one is good. Double push on two is super good. good. Yeah. He's got momentous two, which is great. I guess if you're... I don't, I don't see know. you giving him more than two. <laughs> I do not, because yeah. O Chisels was a better beat. Everything just needs everything. <laughs> I, I think out of the original box, Brick is the one that needs to go first. I think so. I, I like that there's some synergy with him and O Harmony. Like she gets extra armor when she's near him. Yeah. I just think it's cool for new people to learn like synergies. synergies. True. Which I think is fun. But if you want to like start replacing him, like I think I just I love tooled up. I think tooled up is great. Yes. You know, maybe you just want tower yeah. in there instead of brick. I, I have issues with tower too. I wish he had a momentous one on one. Yep. Does he have him? He does. I'm pretty I'm sure, sure he doesn't because it's it's something I always no. want to take. Yeah, it's not momentous. I like you're amazing. Get it together. Uh, have a lower knockdown. You have a big hammer, you know? Um, but like, yeah, I just use him for tool death pretty much. Yeah, and I mean like, <laughs> I, I, it's crazy because Brick used to be really good. He used to be so good. He I used to run him like, every yeah. single time. Like him and Marvels were just like, just the threat of counter. Counter charge is charges. super good. You had two six inch bubbles yeah. where you're like, you cannot enter this mm -hmm. unless there's consequences, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll move on to champ. Uh, I I mean, this is what you guys got as your, your yeah. squatty from like this the, is the free city draft. The free city yeah. draft, yes. I, I mean, I feel like her character is anemic, just like Mason, so it kind of fits. Like, you know, she didn't have a lot of like character in that. Not that I remember anyway. Um, I love her with Corbelli. I think she works yes. fantastic with Corbelli. The problem is, is Corbelli balls enough with her with him and Flint, and to like take champ. If you take Champ and Flint, you're like committing to 3 0 at that point. Yeah, it's a pretty lot much. Of it's it. a lot of. Yeah. Lot of you can throw out the close control, which is fun. Yeah, push <laughs> Tackle dodge on one. I mean, tackle dodge on one is great. The push dodge on two is is amazing. Yeah. The stamina is, is so good. Yeah, um, free job. Yeah. Because you're like, <laughs> she's got a free counter counter attack. Like, like she's she's legit. And she's yeah. got, she got two armor? Uh, one armor. Uh, oh, shoot. Four one, I'm pretty sure. Three, oh, three, two. Two. three, two. Very amazing. Three, Very amazing. Yeah. Pretty solid. Yeah. Um, so we went over the chisels. Yeah, like, we did. A Ad chisel Nogum, is yeah. literally mm. mean stick. I think I think a chisel is in your list oh, no matter where you're playing. Time. One of the chisels, like they're auto include yeah. at this point. For me, I think Flint is auto include, not for most. I was about to say. For some people, they don't think Flint is auto include, and that's Why? totally fine. Because maybe Hammer's going to score your only goal, you know, and that's uh, all you need. And you're playing nice. like hard 1 4. But you give Flint two influence and he's always a threat. He's always a threat. He's always he's got the four eight. He's got the tackle dodge on one. Four eight close control. Yeah. Four eight tackle close dodge. control. Where'd they go? Where did they go? Yeah. And that's he's just like the bare bone striker of like just goodness. Like all the things you want on a striker, like straight he down. He has. Oh, he doesn't have he's what? got the Bible dodge. He doesn't he's got have the mail. What was it? Like Kong Oh my gosh. Yeah. I used to love when he was like like too pretty for for the the male people that hit him. Where did it go? I think, I think uh, SMG started going away with like gendered kind of rules, but I thought it was so fun. I was like, oh, I'm pretty. You can't hit me. Like, right, that was yeah, it was so much fun. Just to like, and I love again. We have to go back to SFG and their lore. Like, yeah, they're so good at like just implementing diversity without like being doing like, it on yeah. like just yeah. being like diverse for no reason. Like, they're just so good at having characters not represent like what they identify as but just have that be a part of their, their character. character and it's so good well it's like remnant like arcane and like yeah i can go on big set yeah big set. <laughs> big set i wish he was pretty against men still it was super fun yeah because it was funny i was like tapper <laughs> oh no flint please yeah he's, I was like, he's too pretty you can't like you can't even look at him like, yeah oh, yeah oh, look at <laughs> I guess so. Flint is literally just like striker. Every every striker. Team has, yeah. Every team has. I the, think this is the striker. Honor definitely wants him. I think Corbelli definitely wants him. Oh yeah. It's a good like back pocket for Hammer. Like Hammer takes away all of like the attention that he would normally get, like shutting him down. Mm -hmm. Like you have to dedicate that to Hammer because he's just gonna score. Like Flint can just run out. Yeah. And be like, like I have yeah. two influence. I will tackle, dodge, and score. Yeah. And you're like, okay. Yeah. He's fantastic. <laughs> Usually it needs three to buy the dodge, but yeah. So good, so good. I love playing. I think uh, Granite is next to Reach. 
two inch reach. All right, granite is like I got Mason because I love the look of her model. I just I love her model so much. I don't know why. She was like a new squaddy right when I yes. got to the game. Yes. Um, they introduced her, and I just thought she was so badass looking and cool. She's got the low knockdown. She's got like yeah. she's got the jog when she used to have a jog like when you kick like when you start the game she used to do jog i don't think she has that anymore no now but it's, now it's like if you get hurt she like runs up yes yeah uh, within four inches once per turn on a friendly model yeah uh within the aura suffers damage you can make in advance uh which is good it just gets her more movement she's yeah. low she's like four inch jog right uh yeah four inch yeah. jog. So you kind of need a sprinter and finish. like then you just jog up when you get hurt yeah <laughs> broken earth is is momentous one on, mm -hmm. on your three playbook uh mm -hmm. she's tack six three. which is good too i think brick is tack five right uh i think maybe let's see yeah brick is tack five so that's hurting you too I right mean, the gut in string is also yeah you hit that three and you get the one damage gut string you get the one damage broken earth like the yield ball on three is pretty sexy the one she gets a three in gut gut. And string is does she insane. get three is she poised uh no she's not she's sturdy Sturdy. Sturdy. Well, the crazy thing, so a lot of people, I mean, a lot of newer players don't know this, but mm -hmm. when you have a guild ball cost, right, and on your playbook, mm -hmm. you don't have to target the thing that you you, you don't. Have. So, yeah. so for example, the 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 thing with Brewers was you would dirt, you'd use Friday, mm -hmm. you would attack something with two defense, and then dirty knives the five defense yeah. model, right? Mm -hmm. and, and you literally can do that with gut and string. So if you're in a scrum, well, what's the range, right? It, no. It's P, so so two inch. Right? No. So, like, P means the person you're hitting. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Right. So, rip. Unlucky. Yeah. Well, but you can. Yeah. Rip. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It would, if it had a range, it would be like four yeah. inches. Sorry. I, I misspoke. No, but you're good. But gun string is still so good. Gun string is so good. Yeah. And it, it, to just hit three on a six, yeah. Jack is. Just to, like, lock them down or reduce their defense. Like, you put defense two on there, you knock them down, you yeah. gun string, and, like, you're just going to arm that for momentum or yeah. kill it outright. Sturdy and close ranks too. Yeah, so close ranks is, is understated. Like, double crowd out is so good. Mm -hmm. Like, she's just a meat shield that she runs up. She's got two armor and yeah, twenty HP. Yeah, Jesus, love it. Uh, oh, harmony. Oh, harmony again. I don't play honor. Like, I just I think she's just boring. Like, you just want to play flint instead. Even if I did play honor, would I play harmony? I don't know. Well, I mean, it, it, she basically comes baby honor. Yeah, uh, the linked is really fun. Like, I think it's just like a fun honor. mechanic. I, I think it can be a trap, especially if you're using um, two influence to use superior strategy. That's two influence that's not doing other things that turn. Mm -hmm. And then you're also using an activation right away, and you're like so you're losing gonna have a dead activation. You, you, you're gonna have a dead activation where your yeah. opponent just gets to activate two models that's if right. they if you have the initiative. And like, yeah, it could be super rough. That's really bad. <laughs> but I think I mean to be able to have how you say like. To be able to have a double gold threat, yeah, is it true? Like, you become baby honor, right? <coughs> Activating right after honor, mm -hmm. especially if honor made a gold. Yeah, and if honor pops your feet, you you're probably gonna have free influence, mm -hmm. right? Because you're gonna put two honor anyway. You get acrobatics, right? Yeah, and then uh, you have back to the shadows, but I mean, that's a thing. <laughs> but you're gonna acrobatics. Mm -hmm. You can move eight, mm -hmm. right? And then you can score a goal. Yes. Yeah. So 16 inch goal threat. I mean, it's pretty good. And that's after honor activated. So unless someone's shooting the ball into Egypt. Yeah. You're going to have a relatively decent threat. True. So it's like, I mean, it, it's options. It's options. It's options. I think it's, I think it's fun if you're, if you have last activation with honor and you just like early in the turn, mm -hmm. use harmony just to jog her up and leave room four. Yeah. And you just superior strategy her and then she goes right away again. True. Um, well, to the end links, the turn, I the, think that's pretty good. The link, you would just do it automatically. <laughs> you don't need the superior strategy. Well, I mean, she could activate first, so you have less activation. Uh, you know what true, I mean? True, 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 so, like, true, true. Can, can help, you know? Yeah, like, you could you just, telegraph it, like, from a mile away, but... Yeah, well, yeah, like, if you're... If you're... If you don't have initiative, mm -hmm. and you're activating second, you could hold Honor and Harmony last. Yeah, true. Right? And so, that's Honor true. goes... Uh, or no, Harmony goes, mm -hmm. then superior strategy. Mm -hmm. And then can you link after that? As yeah. Well? Yeah, exactly. Holy yeah. moly. That's insane. <laughs> v Harmony, I feel like her her main reason is to be with him. Mm -hmm. right? Like you take V Harmony for him. Yeah, I think so. I, I don't think 
I don't think he's as useful. Yeah, I don't, I don't, like, even in Alex, I don't think you want to be, like, up close doing damage with her. Like, she wants to just chill, sit back, let your super captain do his thing. His thing. Yeah. Yeah. If you, like, I, I'm I'm a super solo player. Like, I play Devana, I play Thresher, I yep. play Hammer. I play the, the models who you just stack, uh, stack on, you protect them, and they do their crazy activation, yep. and you won the game. Like, that's, that's my right. favorite way to play. So, yep. I love V-Harmony. I think it, she definitely opens up a lot of doors that mm -hmm. people, like, I mean, even your squad is yeah. safe, basically. And she's got marked target, too, right? Like, yep. first turn, she could just throw that out, see if, what happens, and mm -hmm. extend honors threat or uh, hammer's threat by two inches sure. you got record you're extending that by two inches so it's extended by four inches you can add two to move onto him so it's extending it by six inches and if you have a ball you can extend it by 10 inches and so he's yeah. going crazy far um if you need him to yeah so. and so she's just she's basically like the you can you can either have her do a little something mm -hmm. or she does a lot of nothing except yeah. some damage but that's nice when you need a super cam and yeah like happen with six and if things really go wrong mm -hmm. and like you need her to do something you can like assist her you too. could assist her with v chisel and like try and do something if hammer somehow dies and she still has full boxes i don't know i think if hammer dies you're you're in a rough spot if you're not close to winning <laughs> pretty deep. yeah uh i think we talked about lucky how he's I just so he's kind of just a nice he's got player. the heroic dodge now right he's got yeah. like a heroic play for where they go and so we could still have four influence and he gets an influence if he if you didn't have it didn't initiative. have initiative yeah so he just adds like a few little perks that's super fun yeah. and it's got a two on two it's got a, a knockdown on three but again tack five yeah 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 it's like yeah. he heal does he heal conditions i'm pretty sure he does mm -hmm. that maybe what's his character he play? used to but I, I i think the community version does mm. oh there it is side of him oh true true true, true. yeah yeah, yeah. So, well, i mean yeah he's got he's got some options yeah. I, I think he's just a nice little flex. Like he can, <laughs> he can, he can beat or he can ball. Mm -hmm. It's like it is what it is. Uh, Mallet. I'm surprised people don't take this guy. Really? I mean, it's just he's hungry for influence. That yeah, in a team you don't want to give influence to your squad. Is yeah, my <laughs> singled out. Yeah. Shin smash. True. He's, he's got three inch range, but he's got four inch jog. Like he's you. He, he's got three inch range. He got, he's football legend. He wants you to charge and like it's yeah. like a bait. Like don't put two on him to charge. In my opinion, but he's really good at like knocking people down, just like setting up some stuff, you know. And uh, yeah, I, I, he's fun. Again, I think I'm so set in my ways that I have like the squatties I like to run with Hammer and squatties like, I like to run with Malinochins. Yeah, yeah. Singled out, football legend. He's got he's got the smashins. Yeah. The KD. But like then you have Mallet Oches and you're you're yeah. obviously taking tower. You're like, he just I don't know, their their squaddies are so good. Uh, and so like if he's not he's just cool. Yeah. He's just so cool. <laughs> <laughs> he is cool. But he's not actively adding to your game plan. You know what I mean? No. You need to be scoring goals or getting takeouts. Hammer, oh chisel, get your takeouts. Flint, mm -hmm. hammer, get your and Corbelli, get your goals. And same with yeah. champ. And so it's like it's hard for him to find a place where like chisel and brick are like actively just like getting in the scrum and getting in yeah. there i think mallet doesn't really take as much damage no. as like, two does let's take a look and so like nah. you're just kind of opening yourself up to get like taken out a lot yeah but you know I mean, what i mean thresher gets into this guy and he's dead if he wasn't slow yeah i would say he's, he's almost an auto dude but four six is bad <laughs> <laughs> i mean he's got the two inch he's got a two on two he's got that dreaded non momentous one on one but you're always taking his character plays yeah. i guess it's just i mean like so in, if he was faster you have a three inch reach mm -hmm. football legend tackle on three true so literally no one can touch you at three, <laughs> right yeah like, i mean I, I put him in my my 12 because i like taking him with core belly sometimes exactly when yeah. you don't need granite yeah um so i flex him for granite and so he gives us the football legend mm -hmm. Helps your passes. You don't want to miss passes with Corbelli at all. No. And then you could stop a cheeky goal thread if you smash your shins. Like True. people don't expect like how yeah. damaging that is. Like to, imagine you're to... a fish player. Yeah. And you're like, all right, Sharks can use cotton net. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a three inch melee range. And what's this tackle? There might be something to be said about three inch tackle. Three. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. It's like you have a, a tackle on three. It's like, yes, I the three results I feel like are not consistent when you're protected by true well i mean it's like if you do a charge right you're getting the yeah, forceful true. blows right so <coughs> tackling mm -hmm. 
You're pushing two inches away and you're yeah. breathing. So then you're, you're three influence to tackle and pass the ball. That Corbelli probably wants like five or six to score a goal. Sure. Flint wants four. Like mm -hmm. Champ's going to want a few to be a threat. And then like you're out of influence. True, yeah, with only 13. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. You are correct. <laughs> uh tower the last one love tower tower is is my boy he's always been my boy i wish he had a momentous one-on-one -on -one. i wish he had a lower knockdown but other than that tooled up is so good yep. he's got the the push dodge and every result right he's and got sturdy. knock bag he's got Legendary. oh yeah his heroic play is fun to use when you're just like crushing it on momentum um floyd is Boy. good because yeah. hammer's gonna knock stuff down and he can just go in and clean up um it's good 18 <laughs> yeah Three, i mean two. a lot of times when you're like top bottom or when you go bottom top with hammer like first turn you go all in with hammer at your last activation mm -hmm. you have the momentum you go first hammer's going in again right and so yeah. you didn't use tool up that turn a lot of things like i'd like to you know load up flint and if you don't have a goal you can adapt a strategy to tower yeah he's gonna beat up someone that hammer knocked down oh, yeah. he's going floored he can tool up himself yep like and three out three yeah and so when, once he's tax seven his playbook look, looks a little better, oh, yeah. um, but Tech Five is playbook is not not the greatest. Yeah, yeah. tooled up. He's got tooled up. That's he's what he does. He's got tooled up. Yeah, yeah. I, this is good, good salt. Yeah, he broke Corbelli when he had a two on two. Yes. 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 <laughs> so I think. So I guess we can summarize things yeah. now. Where it's like, besides being probably one of the best new player factions mm -hmm. that you can get into. <laughs> what do you think should be the appeal like let's say this is your chance to sort of sell people on mason. sell people on mason yes i think it's really cool that most teams will go into a game and be like this is the way i have to win i have to get 3-0 i have to get 6-0 yeah. i have to go 1-4 or 2-2 and masons are like i can go the spectrum yes. like i can do whatever i want and so they're very flexible um they're pretty straightforward and some people like playing straightforward teams you know you don't need all the weird jank that kind of just gets in the way of strategy that underlies this whole game and so like just having a character that beats face is really nice and just having a character that like and i'm not saying there's easy activations with corbelli because there's a lot of skill expression with where you're passing how you dodge and that and hammer there's a ton of skill expression on where you're knockbacking and following up yeah. and like you can go an extra six inches in a turn where he has six influence. Um, so I, I think there's depth and I think they're simple. I think they're, their skill ceiling is, or the skill floor is really low, easy to get into. And I think their ceiling is like middle. And so like, yeah. I feel like they're good to like get into the game. You kind of master this team and you've hit a middle ceiling. And you're like, all right, I'm ready to go to a team that has like a higher ceiling. Yeah. And so that's kind of why I did it. I think it works really well. And yes. I still think, you know, there's a lot of, ways to play into a, a high tier i don't think just because they're a middle ceiling means that you can't play into a really high level and oh. be impressive with them so. oh yeah well i think it's like it there's the difference between like an insane masons player mm -hmm. and like a masons player that's had the reps yeah is like night and day yeah because it, it's basically <laughs> how you know the game changes yeah and that changes how you activate yeah how you like position yourself yeah and that is the difference yeah and i think this game yeah like there's there's a high skill ceiling within the game not exactly. just within so like you can play a game to a really high standard mm -hmm. even if your faction is you know whatever arbitrary was saying what we're saying but like i, I still remember this play where like i i want to go kill obulus right mm -hmm. and i have the ball and like i can pass a, like i walk up within three inches of him and then i pass the ball and i dodge into him to get around yeah. unpredictable movement yeah. and it's like those kinds of things that are going to be like impressive and fun to do and fun to pull off or like crazy goal runs that are like any team can pull off that are like still super fun and you don't need a, a faction that has crazy tricks to do crazy things like exactly. that's what i'm trying to say the, ga the game is still super fun you can get like crazy things that you still remember three years from now and yeah like, yeah and, and that's kind of the thing it's like i agree with you it's it's it is one of those guilds where they do their thing very well, yeah. right? And it's each model does their individual things <laughs> very well, yeah. right? And it, it's easier for the newer players, mm -hmm. but once you get to the point yeah. where you cross the threshold of just, not just being a good Mason, <laughs> but a good guild ball player, yeah. that's when things start to go. I will say, crazy. yeah. yeah. Another like point that Masons have going for them is like, them like farmers masons i feel like are the most fun teams to play into 
Like, there's yeah. no negative experience, I feel, mm, when you're playing yes. Masons and Farmers, because you're gonna you're gonna hit them. They're low defense. Mm. Your things are gonna happen, but you don't feel like like Brewers. You can just like get stuck in a scrum, and you're like, oh, yes. I hate my life. Yes. <laughs> well, I play Hunters, and like you get pinned from somewhere, and you're like, this is the worst yeah, you're ever. Like, uh, you like, I can't move. <laughs> or, or like you're playing against Steeljaw, and you're just like, like can't play uh, the game. Yes. Like, there's no. I feel like there's no captain that just makes you feel like, ah, oh, this is this is lame. There's no, like Demona killed me like from yeah 12 inches away like, like two models like there's none of that like negative kind of feeling i guess maybe if like hammer goes and kills like two things in one turn sure. that can kind of well, feel kind of bad but once there was multiple counter charges it kind of felt bad but right no, there's just right. you're like marvel's counter charged okay. yeah <laughs> okay maybe so, he can so push i agree with you it's like from a like a <laughs> point of view playing into masons you're like eh. yeah you know what you're getting you're like, yeah you know what you're getting and into. you look at the thing and you're like mm -hmm. big granite or big brick yeah. that's the defense guy and like the, the, <laughs> the beauty of playing guild ball is you never look across and you think oh i'm playing mason you think oh i'm playing kevin you know what i mean it's like you're playing against a player right no matter what they're playing and you're like oh shit they're really good like this is gonna be gonna be rough yeah and i think that'll wrap it up yeah. for episode one let's do it. so we had episode zero zero this is episode one episode two to be brewers brewers and it is friday yeah <laughs> <laughs> i will get on it